Hustlers League TV, we back with another video. Um, shout out to everybody who checked out the last video I posted about Dion Cuffey Gallup. Um, when I posted that video, a lot of people got in the comments and they started going crazy talking about, hey, Meech ain't no snitch and, you know, you just a YouTuber and I'm, I'm clout chasing. I'm not clout chasing. I'm simply um, a vlogger who's trying to get a story out there, you know, call myself a hood reporter. Um, Cuffy was a stand-up guy, and that's what I respect. I respect stand-up guys. I never put any type of jacket on Meech. Now, what I did was I put a jacket on Blue Da Vinci. Um, a lot of us did. And as a man, I'm going to come out and say I was wrong for even calling Blue a snitch, and we didn't have the paperwork on Blue now. I don't have Blue's paperwork, so I don't know what Blue said or what Blue didn't say. But I'm not going to call him a snitch, and I apologize for calling Blue a snitch. Um, everybody said Blue snitched about the limousine. We found out it was Ralph Sims or whatever the case may be. Even Tanisha Welch say Blue didn't snitch. You know? The question is, where the fuck did Tammy come from? I'm explaining the story. Tammy Corn is now the executive producer of um, the BMS Star Show, the BMS Star Show. She has Meech rights. I was doing this show, so when T was locked up, T asked me to call her. I blindly called her, and she just immediately went off on me. Like, what the hell, you know? I get down to my probation officer, my son in the car. I said, if I don't come out, in a couple of hours, call the lawyer. I get in there. Tammy Cohen um, is a government informant. Who would give a person the right to tell another person to lock me back up because I came home to figure out another way to make money? This happened. I had to walk away from that. I walked away from that. I had to walk away. My probation officer said, we going to make a deal with you. We're going to investigate this, but you're going to have to walk away from anything that you got going on with them. I, don't even, I didn't even know who she was. I used to look her up, look her up. Because when you're a government informant, they you don't have no identity. And I was asking people, who is this person? Who is this person? When they did the BMF Stars premiere, I, w I was on Instagram, and I seen her for the first time. Nobody had to tell me. My, I looked at her, and I knew it was her. All these people from BMF and everybody, they just all hugged up with this person. Do you know how that make me feel like? This is a government informant. I'm y'all 30-something year friend. Henceforward, you know, I was around when things was, you know, kind of started going bad, and uh, Pops got me with uh, another writer who was a guy who used to be the former editor of Rolling Stone. He was trying to get us, you know, the put the whole story together and all that. And at the same time, I ran into a familiar person. I was put with this woman named Tammy Cowens. Tammy was communicating with me regarding, you know, her position, trying to help. They basically said, Cal, help Tammy. And because they knew that at the time, Tammy, you know, she didn't know shit. She was just a pretty girl. Right. Now, let me tell you what I know that was weird. Tammy was communicating with me, communicating, communicating. She was telling me everything was going on. And then one day she came back. Stop. One day she disappeared. Right. She right. ghosted me. And I could never right. figure it out. And I'm going to tell you something. The first time I met her, I met her in person at the Intercontinental in Buckhead. And she, uh -huh. she came across very striking, but it was something I couldn't put my finger on because I was like, how does this type of woman get involved with these ghetto niggas? What the fuck is, you know, I, I, couldn't, I right. couldn't figure it out because she seemed so out of place. And see, Meech, I'm the first nigga put a million dollars in his pocket. He never seen that till he came to the loop. You feel me? Excellent. Well, what they did, what Meech and Tammy did is called it because you're not in the system. Thank God you're not. I, like, I hate to see brothers in this system. But brothers who are familiar with this system, it's a nasty, nasty system. What Meech and Tammy did was called a third-party cooperation. What happened was... This call is from a federal prison. Originally, I was put with Tammy. 
I paid for the script. I put out. I paid a quarter million dollars. That's my script. That's why Fifty when he came in because we we put a assistant deceased order in through my attorney. That's why they couldn't do a motion picture. That's why you didn't see the BMF story on the on the big screen. So Fifty ran it through that star shit that he ran that other corny shit he, that he do. So what happened was, homie, was I wasn't even the original target. They wanted to get a little Mexican. He's actually a cartel member out of L.A. named Suarez. You'll see his name in the paperwork, Fidel Suarez. He was their initial target. You feel me? Right. He was their initial target. But with me calling in while they were trying to set up Fidel Suarez, she clicked over and told the Fed or the agents who was listening to her and Suarez, hold on, this is Cuff. And when they heard the name Cuff, they w went fucking crazy. And that's when, when, when her and Meech turned the scheme toward me. So what it did, what it did was, it, this was what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to give Meech a time cut for her cooperation and set me up. But also, it kills two birds with one stone. It puts me in jail, and now they don't have to split any of the revenue with me. Now, I see everybody in the comments saying, you want Meech to be a snitch so bad. I don't want me to be no snitch. I just want the facts to get out. Now see, if we know this something with Tammy, first of all, we don't know where Tammy come from. Not to mention, we know about all the uh, fed shit she did, how she set up Terry White, how she started working with the DEA, was paid over 200 grand. You know, we know about all that, but you know, after all that took place and a BMF member started to get out of jail, you know, when they started to try to make money off the story, Tammy blocks anything that they do. She blocked Tanisha Welch and, you know, the project she had going on. Damn, they sent her back to jail. The journey they say he was doing work with her, then she just disappeared. Cuff say he was linked with her, you know? And it's like they backdoored them out in script. You feel me? Meaning if Cuff was put in jail, they ain't had to give him his cut of the, of the script for the finder's fee. You know, Cuff wasn't even a target. It was just that while she had the, the feds on the phone with Suarez, Cuff called, you know, called too. She click over, tell the feds, yo, there's Cuff on the line. Then it's like they came up with a plan, like boom, bingo. We get Suarez and Cuff out the way. It's killing two birds and one stones. But y'all ain't listening to Cuff because y'all think that he just hating because a BMF star series. Come on, man, wake up. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all know what this is. I mean, if y'all real street niggas.